We have a visitor. How do you shoot dark and moody videos? Do you think I shoot them really well? Welcome. It is 3B Thursday, episode three. Let's get after it. So this week, I'm gonna show you guys a few tips and tricks I have that I have mastered with dark and moody cinematic videos. SMQ mode is perfect because it's slow and quick mode. It allows you to shoot everything in slow-mo, but if you realize you want to ramp something up in post, it's easy. It's not going to affect the film. It's not going to affect how it comes out. It's not going to affect the quality. I make sure that I set my frames per second to 50. That just allows for cleaner slow-mo, making sure that there's no jumps or anything in the film. I also find that when I do um, dark and moody, I love to have everything captured perfectly. I love the movement of like a pour. I love to see everything close up of a flip of food or crumbs flying in the air. SMQ mode just gives you that perfect slow motion and the crisp quality of everything coming out exactly how you want it to look. Going into tip number two, alongside having your frames per second set as 50, here are the camera settings that I roughly use to make sure I capture it in the best quality I can. My shutter speed is always 1 over 500 and my aperture is always about f4. My ISO kind of ranges depending on the setting, the light setup, and what's being filmed, the color contrast of everything. So my range I would give you guys would be between 500 to 1600. It's kind of a big range. Usually you'll be more so like on the 500 side, 800 roughly, um, but that just allows for crisp clean video to make the setting dark and moody. I have to be creative when it comes to blocking out competing light. Competing light as in the light from another room, which just turn it off easily, or light from outside of a window. The lights that I have in my kitchen where I tend to film don't have blinds attached to them, so I hang up a dark, thick blanket on the window. I close the window on the blanket to block that light out. Another few tricks that I find work really well with lighting is having the light come from up below behind the object to kind of give it a glow around the background. And then I have two higher angled shots coming from like on either side of the camera so it kind of shoots down and gives you the brightness on the product that you're filming, but you still have the dark and moody aspects in the background of the video. Girl. Callie helps me set up all of my videos and hangs out with me in her bed. I have a few dark and moody videos on my channel as well as on my Instagram and TikTok accounts. So if you need some inspiration, I will link those down below of how they come out in the end. But these are the three things that I use every single time I film these, mo these moody videos. See you next week.